Hey. We uh. Tell me what's in the box, Mark. Well, it's the, un, it's the official, unofficial unboxing of the Little Red Campfire. Made by Camco. No more smoke, ash, mess, or gathering firewood. Which, you know, I, 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 am, I am partial to firewood, but... Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't, like in a spot we're going to go Fire soon. Fire restrictions. Um, uh, yeah, they don't allow... They don't allow uh, campfires, and a lot of the uh, places have removed even the rings permanently. Right. So everybody's going to these propane little campfires. Right. And so... Sorry, Bean. You had your box. The, all the dogs are down there, and they're thinking it's a huge bark box. Yeah, so they had their they box had yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a Dutch oven. Sorry, boogers. It's not for you. We're going to have to show the dogs what this is. Yeah. So they'll get off my leg. <laughs> hey, you want to get off my leg? All right. It is round, not square. It is round. Now, this is the small one. They have a large one. Uh, we stuck with the small one just because, you know, the space, we, we try to limit, uh, you know, how much stuff we're taking uh, because we ha we do have a limit in, in how the, much you can take. From what I understand, this thing puts out a lot of fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> you know, if, if you really want to, if you want a big bonfire, get the big red. There you go. Now that's nice. It's got the latches. Um, the, th the nice thing about this is if you have your campfire, you can close it up, latch it up, and carry it. You don't have to like carry two pieces, your wood, and uh, what have you. So it, it makes for a nice campfire. I can't get it. Poor BB. Sorry. You know what? You want to play with the box? Take the tape off. There you go. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna, he's gonna, <laughs> he thinks he's got a toy. There you go, Bean. Chew that up for, for a few. Okay, back to this. So it comes with a, uh, like an eight foot hose and a pressure regulator. And it hooks up to a larger uh, propane tank, you know, like a regular uh, 20 pound uh, cylinders. Correct. Now, That's it. it's, it's, it's hooked in. there's one thing that I had read on reviews about to make sure that this fitting down in here is tight because it could come loose, leak, and catch fire. Another thing is this can get pretty hot, so people are wrapping this rubber hose with some uh, fireproof insulation up to this area in here. So oh, good it, answer. Because some of them have actually melted, burned, and propane was coming out and it caught fire. Yeah, we don't want that. So we're gonna do our own little modification and we will prevent that from happening, make sure the fitting is tight, blah, blah, blah. This is like an insulator to reduce the amount of heat that goes downwards and then you've got this ceramic fire log. Mm-hmm. And it just sits there like it's supposed to. Somehow, there you go. Nothing too fancy about it. There you go. And there uh, you have it. So that's it. You, it's, it's now all... you could could you hook that up with a smaller uh, yeah, you unit? Can, you can use a smaller uh, a disposable uh, propane cylinders. Okay. But you have to get a converter. Okay. To go from that to this. Uh, another thing that Camco sells uh, for both of these uh, little reds and big reds is uh, a little stand that you can actually put a Dutch oven on top and oh. cook your food with. Oh, that's nice. Like you really had a real campfire. <laughs> well, there you go. So that's simple. That's it. We'll you, show you what you, it looks like. You use it. You wrap the hose up when you're done. You let it cool down. You wrap it up. Put the lid on it. Snaps on and you throw it in your uh, RV. And there uh, you have it. Next shot, we'll be showing you the actual warmth of a glowing fire yes. tonight. Yes. <laughs> so stay tuned, don't go away. Yeah. We'll be right back. All right. Okay, we're back. So we've got that uh, hooked up there with Bean. He's smelling. 
And that's Mark checked it. It's all tight. And we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, Marky. Okay, buddy. We've got the <laughs> it's funny, we've got the uh the the, the propane unit on top of the wood On top of the wood burning one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just want to try it out. I figured we could put a couple of logs in down here and get the real smoke smell <laughs> while right. we're doing this. So, Cap okay, cut the regulator all the way out. Okay. I'm going to open up the bottle. It's all right. Voila. Instant fire pit. Look at that. It's kind of not coming all the way around. Well, we oh, there. Turn it out. Okay, there we go. Because the wind's blowing a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's really turning it up, huh? Yeah. We don't really need it that high. Well, I can sure feel the heat. You can sure feel the heat? Oh, heck yeah, man. I can stand back 40 feet from that thing and it's it's like it's like 100 degrees. I'm hot. <laughs> In fact, the whole Las Vegas Valley feels the heat. It's all yeah. about 100 degrees right now. That's right. At 7 o'clock at night. <clears throat> but in all seriousness, I can um, feel the heat. I, I can feel the heat from it. And, um, and that's the last thing we need right now in the summertime in the desert. Yeah, exactly. But the thing I like about it is the ambience of it. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, I um, can imagine sitting out there in the morning uh, just before daybreak and having a cup of coffee and sitting next to a little fire. Yeah. So, anyway, there you go, you guys. Hey, know that we love you and know that Jesus loves you. And we will talk to you guys soon. Bye now. <laughs>